G'day guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. This week, as you can see, we are in the outback again. So, Flinders Rangers and uh, doing some runs with the uh, guys who are running the Heisen end to end. So they're um, trying to set the, uh, the record for the, or break the record for the fastest time completing the whole of the Heisen Trail. Uh, faster than about 14 days, I believe they're going for. Now I'm quite excited because I'm doing some uh, trails that I haven't seen before. So, uh, and I don't think that many people have because these are quite remote trails, quite difficult to get to. Um, I'm meeting them today at a, um, a walk-in campsite. So it's, um, yeah, you can't get here by vehicle. The roads are, are closed to um, vehicles. So yeah, it is uh, really in the middle of nowhere and hoping that the uh, icing guys rock up soon and I can uh, run with them. Yeah. All right, mate. Hey, hey. hey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They had a uh, really good start the first day of the run. They got the um, about 80 k's in and they finished that before it got dark. So they got to their planned uh, campsite. So yeah, it's going well so far for them, um, but I guess I'll be able to check in, see how they're going. So when I met up with the Heising guys, they were about 90 minutes into their second day and um, gave a body check of how they were going. Uh, very, you know, everyone was very good. So that's good news. Um, first up was that, um, yeah, everything was going well. Quite an experience I don't think many people have done is to run an 80K and then um, go for a run the next day. Um, but yeah, they were, they were uh, trudging along okay. And um, a lot of the first uh, part of the run was on really nice um, creek so really I made a comment that it was sort of the red carpet sort of creek it was very 
uh, nice underfoot, very, you know, soft, softish uh, gravel. Um, so you could, yeah, it was really smooth running for most of the uh, the first hour or so of, of along the creek. There were connector paths like you can see here, uh, some, uh, I guess, fire tracks or ranger um, sort of trails. But um, it is very, very far from uh, access to crew. And I think if... Um, most people that would have done this part of the uh, the Flinders Rangers would have been uh, planning to do a a 30k uh, stretch between the two places where it's accessible by road um, or just an out and back. So Rue was happy to uh, chat about um, about various things, including uh, various races. And one thing that we discussed was that the Irrational South 2023 will be coming through this part of the course or through this part of the Heisen Trail. It starts off up north, which is the previous uh, Hubert 100 course, and it um, continues through to Quorn for the 200 miler. And the 100 miler um, starts part way along the um, the uh, course that the Heisen Trail that we were travelling on day two. Uh, Simon made a mention that uh, I'd provided cash sponsorship to the uh, Heisen guys, and um, so yeah, it was good to receive some thanks for that. So I provided some money for expenses through my business, Financial Tuner. I've been a licensed financial advisor for over 20 years, and um, it's my way of being a part of this. I know that um, I'd like to give it a go, um, but at the moment, there's no way with uh, the way my foot is. Um, it was very nice to have the soft um, creek running underfoot um, for the first bit there because my foot is still not 100%. There's just no way that I could... Um, attempt what these guys are doing so it was quite inspirational to see how they were um, just getting it done. There was a lot of interest from the guys in what I'd be doing for upcoming races and that included um, some rollover events that um, if you've been following the vlog you'd know that I'm doing a UTA 100 rolled over to October and the also the Tarawera uh, rollover to 2023 and Marcus uh, was also um, interested in both of those so yeah, that's um, hopefully we can get um, the foot all sorted by then and um, yeah, you actually get, get some fitness um, going. Uh, it was quite a big day for me running the 30k with the guys because I hadn't really run more than 100k in a week uh, since uh, January. So um, well, except for, I guess, the World's End three weeks prior, we did talk about World's End and um, yeah, I said, well, we got that coming up uh, over the weekend. And um, yeah, the, Rue mentioned that that last, uh, that last stretch of the last 20 odd K uh, to the World's End campsite along the Heisen Trail is quite a log and mundane uh, uh, section of uh, straight road where, yeah, you think you're close, but then still a few more Ks to go. So um, yeah, they've got that coming up on, um, on the Saturday. <laughs> So it changed to a uh, much wider creek and it was uh, 
not as good underfoot. It was quite um, quite rocky and yeah, um, slow going. You'd put up with it for a while, but then you had to have walk breaks because it was quite a um, yeah, quite a rough uh, creek bed. Uh, sort of pick your way, and but yeah, really wide, um, beautiful creek bed in the middle of uh, the Flinders. It um, continued on, and then we got to this uh, section of um, water, which was actually where the 200 mile for the Irrational South would meet up with the 100 mile uh, course. So this is about, uh, I think, 15 k's into the 100 mile um, course. And both of them follow uh, the Hyson Trail through to Quorn with a, um, with a few uh, out and backs to get to aid stations along the way. Yeah. yeah, good to see you guys. Covered a fair bit of ground since I saw you last. <laughs> Ready for our uh, last and journey? Yeah. So Simon here wearing the long sleeve <laughs> shirt. He um, was setting the pace through most of Monday. He would uh, be go going quite a solid pace and um, keeping it up, uh, you know, really focusing on getting the ground covered. And the guys would just be uh, doing their own thing, I guess, focusing on just um, conserving and uh, 
uh, managing their effort level, uh, not trying to increase their pace when the uh, the gap opened, and um, uh, then eventually Simon would uh, would wait and regroup and and give us all an encouragement uh, uh, when we got back together again. So that continued on Tuesday with him um, being. Uh, you know, uh, basically on a bit of a time clock, I guess he he was really uh, mindful of uh, covering a lot of time ground quickly, which I guess is good to have someone like that that can push the pace. Now, if you've been following the vlog, you would have seen that I've done some runs around Mount Arden before, uh, around the uh, lots of four-wheel drive tracks, and Rue had done some runs as well, and he was expecting that it would be four-wheel drive track all the way up to uh, Mount Arden. However, from uh, yeah, Buckaringa Gorge, there was a uh, quite a uh, closed-in creek uh, that we had to do, very technical creek, um, before it uh, actually got to the, uh, the four-wheel drive track along the ridge. Any different uh, pulling up after night two compared to night one as far as uh, sleep and soreness and anything like that? No, I still feel fresh. I'm good. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I'm having like a little scoop of protein <coughs> just at the end of every run. Yeah, oh, you got to got to keep uh, yeah keep lots of calories going in the whole yeah, time. Yeah. And just. That's good. I think I definitely prefer doing it this way, like sort of coming home. Oh yeah. As opposed to heading out. Yep. Well, there's a bit of a. I mean, there's an early section of Cape Jervis, but apart from that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is this is like, like getting the worst of it out out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a wire there. It's gonna be cool, like 
So on day two, I noticed that Dan and Marcus were dropping off from the other guys, who seemed to be doing a lot more comfortably than they were. But after the interview with Dan there, you could see that, yeah, he was uh, feeling pretty good, um, getting stronger. And by the end of the week, uh, as it got a little bit flatter and a little bit easier going, uh, he actually uh, got away from the other guys on some of the runs. He is a bit of a faster flat runner than, than the other three. And uh, unfortunately, Marcus, he uh, pulled the pin after day four. So after spending a couple of days in Flinders Ranges north of Quorn, went back to Adelaide to finish off my running training week, doing an easy run with Nat over the Adelaide Trail Runners uh, course that she'll be doing on Sunday as a team's event. And that makes for an easy uh, week of training, getting back into it. My foot is improving. We'll see how we go with it going forward.